Hey there friends, it's been a while since we last connected. Um, I apologize for that, life's been a bit crazy. But I'm back today with a video reviewing the Lenovo Think Plus XT80 wireless earbuds. So let's jump right in. Now let's move on to the earbuds themselves. Now the earbuds have a simple unboxing experience. This was the box that they came in. Um, uh, I have unboxed them already, but there's a user manual. If you're anyone like me, you know I don't read them. Um, they have a bunch of other, you know, different size ear tips. Uh, it also did come with a charging cable. I do not know where that is. Um, but yeah, then there are the earbuds themselves. Uh, they have the uh, you know, two earbuds, um, which you can put, uh, they stick in magnetically. The case has a snap. Uh, then there is the screen on there. If you can see that. Uh, yeah, so that is it for that. Uh now let's talk juice. The earbuds promise up to six hours of solo playback time. Uh, but remember that with the with the case you can charge it up to four times, so that gives you around 24 hours of playback after charging. Um, now it's, that's a perfect amount of time for watching movies, a great workout session, or just working in general. Six hours is a decent amount of time that they're promising. Now I would like you all to remember there's no active noise cancellation on this, considering the price range that they are in. Uh, but yeah, I think that should be it for the battery life. Audio is the heart and soul of earbuds. Um, now, though, though the earbuds have decent audio quality, if you're an audiophile, you will realize that the bass is a bit amped up um, and it's quite lacking in the mids and trebles and the voice can get a bit muddy. It's like when you're at a concert and the vocals get mixed up because of all the bass. Uh, but for just casual hearing or if you're into stuff like listening to very uh, bass stop music and I think it's perfect in terms of audio quality Now let's talk about this nifty feature. It's a screen on the charging case that displays both the charge of the case and the charge of each earbud It's not that special of a feature, but it's something that at this price range you can't avoid It's a very very useful feature, especially when you might not be close to a charger or might be at a point where you are at a place where you can't charge the earbuds so I think that uh, case screen can uh, be quite helpful for certain individuals or in, in certain use cases. Alright, let's discuss the elephant in the room, the pricing of these earbuds. Now these earbuds go for approximately 3,500 Kenyan shillings and in the varying price tags of the earphone market, these sit at a mid-range. Okay? Um, now are they worth it for that price? Let's wrap it up and find out. If you are eyeing the XT80s, I would like you to consider your audio preferences first and foremost. If you would want ANC, I would uh, suggest that you opt for something more expensive or maybe some other Lenovo earbuds because there are some more in the more expensive price range. Uh, the, head, the earphones that go above for over 7,000 Kenyan shillings offer ANC. But if the audio preferences of yours match those of what they have to offer and how much that case screen really matters to you. These are a solid pair of earphones for their price. Thank you for joining in on this video and also thank you to all my viewers for the patience during my hiatus. It has been a while since I uploaded but there's a lot more videos coming in. Um, and yeah, as always, stay curious, keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.